How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams, the founder of the Hard Gainer Academy. And what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the one tip that helped me feel more confident in myself. I wanna share that with you because I think you guys will find it extremely helpful. So what that tip is, is identifying your insecurities. I used to be skinny fat and I did not like it. I was insecure about it. So that's actually part of the reasons why I got into training. I wanted to be able to look in the mirror and feel proud of myself, feel accomplished. Also wanted just to feel better and have more energy. So that was the main driving force for me to be where I'm at actually today. Secondly, one thing I wanna talk about is actually acknowledging the insecurities that you have. One of the worst things that you can do is ignore those insecurities. If you have an issue with something, why ignore it? Why put it to the side? Cause you're gonna end up facing it again. So a lot of guys will be like, hey man, I don't like all this belly fat that I have. I need to get rid of it. But you know what? It's okay, everything else is fine. And then months later, man, I need to get rid of this belly. This belly's getting bigger, right? So it's obviously bothering you. It's taking you off course. It's affecting you mentally. Even though you may not think it's affecting you a lot, but it is bothering you because every single day, I guarantee, because I went through it, you're waking up, you look at yourself and it's just like, you know what? I know I could do better than this, man. Like I need to fix this. Do not make excuses. Just acknowledge the fact that, hey, this is what I'm insecure about. So now what action am I going to take to actually fix that? Another thing that really helped me as well when I was insecure was actually talking to someone about it, right? Instead of just bottling it up and keeping it to myself, I would share it with someone. I'd be like, hey, at the time, one of my close friends, I was telling him, hey man, I need to get inside the gym because I'm definitely not feeling how my body looks. And he's just like, all right, man. He's like, you know what? I think I can go with you, right? And that helped out a bit. So communicating that with other people really helps ease anxiety of that insecurity that you are dealing with. So if you have someone that is close to you that you can talk to, then I'm telling you, by all means, do that. Because the good thing about it is if you tell them, well, you know what, I'm going to do something about it, then you have someone that is there with you that can help hold you accountable, remind you that, hey, you know what? You wanted to change this, so stay on it. So if you gotta communicate with someone, by all means, you could do that. I know there are some people that can keep it to themselves and go for it all the way. I've become that person as well, and that is fine. But it's one of those things, you just need to address it. You need to acknowledge it and share it with somebody. The next thing is, you also gotta realize, and I say this all the time, always strive to be the best version of yourself. One of the things that fuel insecurities is comparing ourselves to others. We see things on social media everywhere around us. Now what I want you to do is block all that noise out. What do you want for yourself? Like seriously, what do you want for yourself? One of the things that you do not want to do, and a lot, I run to a lot of guys that do this, and they're like, hey, I want to look like so-and-so. Or I want to be like so-and-so. And I'm just like, no, you don't. You really don't. What you really want and what you should be striving for is to always constantly make improvements, bettering yourself. Because at the end of the day, we are all built differently. You're not going to look exactly like that other person. Instead of focusing on comparing yourself to other people, focusing on being a better version of yourself. Because at the end of the day, no one's going to be better than actually you, right? And then, you know what? Let's talk about another last thing. And this was one thing, the things that I was dealing with when I was dealing with a lot of insecurities as well, is tell yourself positive things. Congratulate those small milestones that you achieve. Because I remember when I first got started in the gym and I was just training and training and training, but I never really appreciated those small successes that I had. 
So when I'd walk in, here's a good example. I'd see guys, I'm like, wow, they're lifting all this heavy weight. Me, this little skinny guy, I'm just like, and I have some small weights and I'm looking at them and stuff like that. And I'm just like, man, I wish I could get there. I want to get there. But the thing is, after months, I was making improvements. I was lifting heavier weights. My body was changing. But I was just like, man, like, am I getting results? This is taking so long, <laughs> you know? Like, but at the end of the day, when I look back on that, those moments of what I went through, it was that, is those improvements. Like, not being able to do one pull-up to doing 10 pull-ups. From doing dips, barely being able to do dips. And now I can do them weighted, right? It's more so appreciating all of those things that you are achieving and not just swiping it under the rug just because it doesn't level up to somebody else. Also, this kind of before I end this video off, I'm going to give you guys an actionable step that you can use actually right, right now. So what I want you to do is to write down what your insecurities are. Like I said, if it's better for you to keep it to yourself, you could do that. But again, I'd highly recommend sharing with someone, right? Write them all down, get them down on that piece of paper. And then I want you to really, really think to yourself and ask yourself, what can I do right now so this does not continue to be an insecurity of mine? How long will it take to actually fix it? Because that's what I feel like life is all about. Getting through our insecurities. When I was in school, going through university, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to tell you something really personal right now. When I was in high school, I always knew that, you know what, I wanted to achieve more. There was a high school that I was going to that if I would have stayed there and did not, and I mean, if I just stayed there and graduated from that high school, I wouldn't have been able to go to college. I wouldn't have been able to go to university at all. And it just had me feeling like, hey, am I in this school because I'm not smart enough or I can't achieve that? It was something I was insecure about. Wondering, I'm like, am I stupid? Am I dumb? But guess what happened? I said, no, I'm going to do something. I went to another high school. That's why I literally got two high school diplomas. Had to spend another, like, I think it was about a year and a half, right? Just to kind of catch up. It was a new curriculum. Right after that, went on to college. Then I went straight into university. That would not have happened if I did not acknowledge what my insecurities were. And it would not have happened if I did not take action. So that's the kind of what I want to leave with you guys this evening. Identify your insecurities and smash them. All right. So it was great talking to you guys. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. I know this video is going to be uploaded on Sunday evening. And I'll be bringing another video to you guys tomorrow. Peace out.